In this video, we're going to talk about how to access our computer-aided dispatch system or our CAD system and also add units to an incident. So our dispatch center is in room 12. The front part of the room is the emergency operations center. And the back part here by the window is our dispatch center. We have four terminals set up. You can see that Harry is over here logged into one of them. So we're going to use this one right here. Simply put your crosshairs on the center monitor, click on it, It'll pull you up and you'll notice that it'll be black as it loads. That takes three to four seconds typically for it to load. At the beginning of the scenario, you'll be presented with the CAD screen and it'll say exercise is not started and it gives you a little button that says start X. Please don't click that until the instructor tells you to do so and we're ready to start the exercise. Now one of the things you may notice right off the bat is that this text is kind of small. So one of the things that you can do is hold down your control key and roll your mouse wheel forward to zoom in and get it to a level that is comfortable for you. So we're going to go ahead and start this exercise. Now right away as we load and start the exercise, we have our active incident, incident number one. In this case, it's labeled as an active shooter, but it's a practice. Now normally this is right here is where we would tell you the address of the location and the particulars of the type of event or the 911 call. And in most cases, you can almost read that verbatim in your initial dispatch. You've got your time here, your current time, and then the elapsed minutes into the scenario right here. On the left side, we have our available units. Now, we are going to simply add 101 by dragging and dropping. So I'm going to add 102. I left click, drag and drop, 103. And I'm going to add Chief 100 as well. So the blue units are law enforcement, red is fire, and the green is EMS or ambulances. So we have patrol units, engine companies, and ambulances. So one of the other things you may notice is these units are outlined. They have just an outline on them, whereas 101 is solid. And the difference is, is that 101 has already arrived on scene, and that's why that box is solid. But 102, 103, and Chief 100 are still responding You've assigned them to the incident, but they're not there yet. The computer controls how long it takes before it puts them on scene, and that happens automatically. So you'll see over time that uh, these units will go from outlined to solid. To take them off the scene, you simply, or off the incident, uh, you simply reverse the process, click and drag them back over into the available group, and that removes them from the incident. And that's all there is to adding units one at a time to an incident. The other way that we have to add them is by adding squads. Now, one of the things that the instructors do just to make the class a little more manageable is we take all the students that are assigned to units, uh, police, engine, uh, police cars, engines, ambulances, and we split them up into three or four even squads. In this case, we have four squads, A, B, C, and D. And each time we start a scenario, the instructors will tell you as the dispatcher which squad we're starting with. So instead of dragging them one at a time, if we're starting with squad A, I can simply pick squad A, click the plus button, and that's going to add all of the units from squad A, which is this in this case is 101, 102, 103, Chief 100, Engine 1, and Ambulance 1. If you need to remove them from the incident, let's say maybe you added them by accident or you put them on the wrong alarm assignment, you simply pick the squad again, do the red minus, and that will remove them. And that's all there is to adding and removing units to an incident. Now, some of the scenarios that we run have more than one incident at the same time. And if that's the case, you will see them open up here as incident number two, incident number three, and so on. Whichever tab you have active to the front is the one that you're working with. So in this case, we're working with incident one, but if I clicked on a second tab up here, it's an incident two, that would be a different incident I would be dragging units over to. And that's all there is for dragging units. If you need additional units after we run out of the units that are listed here, you can click the mutual aid button and that gives you access to a whole bunch more units should you need them for some of the incidents. Tune back in for the next one where we're going to talk about the note-taking function and a couple of other things in our CAD system.